Uh, navigation watch, you'll charge my navigation watch, uh, make sure that we get to where we're going and we do what we're supposed to do in honor. I do training for the uh, uh, new people on board and I do safety inspections and just try to make sure everything flows smoothly. Take care of uh, maintenance overall. Uh, you need to know navigation, you need to know how to charge and you need to find your position. You know how the boat handles when you're doing this stuff. Uh, some of the stuff you can get through school, so Maritime Academy is a good place to learn it. But um, in the end, it's basically the experience on the business. Uh, there's a convoluted path. I started off uh, going to college as a wildlife biologist in the mid 70s. There uh, wasn't much call for that. I like being outside a lot, so I ended up on the ships. I started as an ordinary seaman and worked my way up, basically, so I didn't have any previous education related to it. But nowadays, uh, because of rules changes and uh, increased regulation, is for a person coming into it, it's probably the best bet to go to a maritime academy first. There's Great Lakes Maritime Academy, there's uh, various other maritime academies on the west and east coast. Well, it was just that, that I like being outside and uh, I like traveling, going to various places, and I uh, sure don't want to be cooped up in an office anymore, so this is my office here, looking out there. whatever changes outside those windows, so it's a great place here. Well, for underway, I'll come up and uh, ascertain where we're at, you know, what's going on, and, uh, and take over, leave the captain from his watch, and um, just make sure everything's going smooth and the boat goes where it's supposed to go. Uh, my favorite thing is, is the traveling, obviously, uh, seeing the different things, the way the world looks differently every day. Uh, meeting people on board this vessel is cool. I like to talk to people. And uh, people that come on here are usually pretty interesting to talk to. Well, when I was on the survey ships, I was uh, picked, chosen out of quite a few people to do the transition to the international safety standards for fleet and it was a large company and they sent me around for a year going to different vessels to make sure that they're all compliant with the ISM standards and stuff and doing training for a lot of people. Uh, also the time that uh, they selected me to do the cold weather training for boats that were working up in the Arctic regions. Uh, I did that for a lot of people and hopefully that's why they all came back to me. I like to read, uh, I do some internet surfing, um, listen to music, watch movies, look outside at the stars or whatever. Yes, uh, two years ago we were up on Lake Superior and we went up into Nipigon Bay, which is the northernmost point of Lake Superior. And it was nighttime, super calm. We went in to do one station in the bay. Normal lights were out, I could hear wolves howling. They were just standing on the bridge wing, just having a good time listening to all, looking around. I guess um, if people are interested in it at all, this is probably kind of a life that's difficult, but if you like to move around, if you really hate being cooped up in one spot, it works pretty well for that. Uh, just go where you are, leave to you. It's, it might not be immediately apparent what you're going to be doing, but uh, you'll find it.